Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tomeister and welcome back to Argamel. In this episode, guys, I'd like to be a little bit more productive than in the last one. Um, because this land over here has kind of healed from all the air pollution and ground pollution and whatnot um, from a couple of episodes ago, I would like to start repurposing and, and sort of revitalizing this whole thing. And by the end of this episode, I think these two landfills should be empty and uh, we can either relocate them or we might not even need them because look at the garbage processing power we have now. Holy crap, guys. Like, I know we're not way in the green, but, you know, we should start to see our landfills emptying slowly now uh, because we're processing so much garbage. So, let's kind of ignore this side of this main avenue here just for now. Maybe for this episode we won't touch anything here because it's going to take some time for everything to heal. Uh, but for the time being, what we can do is repurpose this entire avenue. So make it look nice again. We are a little bit short on cash. I don't expect there to be any like crazy developments here just yet. Um, in terms of zoning, I mean, we can just go crazy if we want. But in terms of like schools and services, we kind of got to watch out. And, and be careful on our spending for this episode because last episode I think we went a little overboard on some essential services. Um, actually, you know what, before I start here, let's just briefly go over our city services just to make sure that everything's covered because I haven't checked this in quite a while. Healthcare is good. Death care is good-ish. Um, crematoriums, do we have that unlocked yet? If we do, I probably don't have enough money for it. No, we don't. But we do have some money for a sauna. Oh, yeah, never mind about that. That's expensive. I gotta start checking how expensive things are. Child care and elder care. Let's not worry about that right now because too many things are gonna change in these areas. So let's just assume health care is good for now. Um, okay, yeah, in terms of fire protection, we are severely lacking services. We got to get that figured out, guys. Uh, too bad we don't have the large fire station unlocked. That's only unlocked at 60,000. 12,000 for a small one. And at this point, we pretty much need two. So let's place one down over here just to cover this entire industrial zone. Like, that's priority number one, honestly. And over here, we have a perfect location for one over here. Look at that. This covers this entire area. And you know what? Police. Um, yeah, police is actually good. I mean, we might have to cover this portion of... Oh, look at that. Just a fire station is upgrading all of our industries here. Um, but I guess we could wait for a police station. I mean, we have no choice... Well, another minute and a half will probably unlock another, uh, at least a small police station. Actually, yeah, let's just wait another couple of seconds, guys. Let's just accelerate the game simulation. Boom, there we go. Have a police station right across from the fire station. And then we'll really start to ramp up our industries over here, start to get some more high-tech industries that are a little less polluting, I hope. Um, but anyways... Is this doing anything? 22 weekly passengers. Nice. Okay, so our services are good. Um, oh, actually, no, we didn't go over schools. We have to go over schools now. So we have one elementary school, or two, actually, for the entire city. We should probably do something about that because I think some of our homes are hurting over here. Like, everything is kind of low income it looks like compared to the older parts of town so I guess that's gonna be a priority but for now maybe to increase income let's start placing down some more homes both low and high density I don't know, I kind of like low, or I mean high density uh, residential right by highways. I think it looks cool. Kind of has like that Dubai vibe to it. Is 
Maybe some offices over here. We have a little bit of industrial demand. Not much, but enough that I think it's justifiable to have a couple of offices at least. And let's just maybe go crazy with commercial for, well, at least on this main avenue for now. And I haven't really plopped down any high density commercial either, so let's go ahead with that. And that'll surely increase our income just a little bit, and then we can afford some schools. How much is a elementary school? 10,000. So we have just enough for one. Um, I guess, like, because this is an older part of town, we should probably get one plopped in this area first. And that school's probably gonna go at some point. Like, with this being the central downtown, central business district, that school's probably gonna go at some point. Probably just gonna be upgraded to something else. But yeah, guys, city's going good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. We're above 10,000 people. We pretty much have the exact same amount of money in the bank. Money's going up pretty quick, actually. We can already afford another school, and we certainly desperately need one over here. Geez, they don't have a really big range, do they? Like, this school hardly gets to everybody over here. I think that... I think this should be, like, a little bit bigger, in my opinion. And, of course, I try to place these down without destroying an entire neighborhood, but that's easier said than done. And I think that fits pretty good there. And that should upgrade everybody's income levels quite a bit. We should start to see some fancier buildings sprawling up here. Yeah, it's already starting. Look at that. Um, yeah, so in the last episode... Oh, wait, are these empty? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so because these landfills are almost empty, they produce less pollution. Because look, all the land is pretty much almost all healed up already. We hardly have any pollution over here. Well, that's nice. That's a nice little touch. It'll speed up the process, because I had the idea that after we moved these, um, we were going to have to wait, like, another episode before everything healed up. But we might be able to get everything done in this episode. So that is fantastic. And I suppose with there being, like, almost nothing left here in terms of industries, let's upgrade all of our roads make our future residents of this area nice and uh, make them happy. So just a few more moments and this is 6% full. Oh my god, did a couple of trucks just dump a huge load all in these? 1% full on here. Anyways, our commercial demand is quite high, so let's take care of that. Man, our city is looking wonderful. Got all sorts of high rises sprawling up. Nothing too crazy yet, which is nice to see. I mean, I wouldn't want some giant skyscrapers popping up just right yet. It would kind of make the city look weird. So I'd like to wait until we have like a decent, steady population of maybe like 20,000 before we start to see some crazy skyscrapers. But yeah, guys, what should I do with this rail line? I'm not sure. Like, I'm recording this episode shortly after the last one, so I guess I didn't give you guys the chance to vote on what we should do with this. Uh, so forgive me about that. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe... Like, I'm not sure if there's going to be another industrial zone in this corner of the map. Hmm. And I kind of want this line to be reserved to only industries. I'm not sure, guys. <sighs> okay, maybe I just won't touch it in this episode. And I'll leave that up to you guys. I'll give you guys the chance to vote on what we should do with this rail line. 
So just take note that I would rather it stay in the industrial focus because um, this separate line here is going to be focused on passengers. Uh, so let me know what we should do. Maybe, maybe even have like a tunnel going across, like right under downtown, maybe going on the other side here. Because like I was saying in the last episode, I was planning on having like a port area over here. I don't know. Bunch of ideas, guys. Let me know down in the comments. We'll figure something out. And so, yeah, we got a little bit of disposable income. Not much. I feel like I should probably eventually do some more things to increase our revenue even higher. Because, like, we are making money, but we're not making money at the rate that is, like, super effective. So let's maybe plop down some parks here and there. Destroy a few neighborhoods, unfortunately. Um, but this is all to increase the wealth and the land value of all of these different parts of town in order for some richer citizens to move in. And I mean, parks are pretty cheap, I think. They're only a couple of grand each. Like, even the biggest park is only $5,000. That's nothing. We can afford that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if we can increase our land value and get some fancier citizens moving in, um, that's just the, uh, the best thing that can happen. Oh, crap. I'm gonna cheat here, guys. Boop. Don't tell anyone. There. But yeah, so if we zoom out, just take a look at the city. Oh. Does, does your game do that, guys? Like, whenever you pan to a, a, like a certain view or something, your view just glitches out and goes immediately vertical. I hope I'm not the only one that that happens. Oh, look at that. We're getting some fancier houses over here. Wow. Look at that. I mean, the city is looking nice now, but like I've said in the last episodes, like, look, oh, I hate these buildings. Oh, I thought this was like a super, like, high wealth building. But yeah, I mean, eventually, guys, it's kind of inevitable without using mods that everything is going to end up looking like this, super futuristic and high tech. Um, it's not exactly what I want. I'd rather everything kind of look like these neighborhoods here. I mean, this is perfect. Nice suburban houses and some, I mean, some pretty nice apartments. Uh, but they're still, like, pretty realistic. Like, this entire neighborhood is, is actually really realistic. Um, so you have a mixture of, like, smaller and bigger homes, apartments, houses. You have, like, the whole mixture. But unfortunately, everything is going to eventually start looking like... Um, well, I actually don't have any examples yet. But everything is going to start looking like this. Like, you know, the futuristic buildings. I'm not looking too forward to that, honestly. But what can you do? Yeah, so... Um... All right, now we have it, guys. So these two landfill sites are completely empty. Let's relocate them. But you know what? You know what? Let's take a peek here real quick. So I'm going to pause the game just to prevent these from going back to like 1% or whatever's going to happen to them. So these are 9, 17, 31, 18% full. So these are actually relatively empty because we have so much garbage processing power that I don't even think we need these extra landfills. So let's just get rid of these. Let's just get rid of them. They, they're completely unnecessary at this point. And let's replace them with some nice suburban suburbs. And actually, let's maybe have a park right here in this corner. This looks like a perfect location for a park. Or two. And actually, we have like a huge selection of parks. 
plazas I think are a little bit more appropriate in like a downtown setting so I think we'll wait on that oh yeah and that's right we have some specialty parks too we got to take advantage of all this guys have some amusement parks and all all kinds of interesting stuff So yeah, actually, let's just take care of this whole neighborhood over here. Let's just develop this entire thing. We'll pretend that this was destroyed at some point to make room for a highway. Um, actually, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity because this road lines up almost perfectly with the highway here. Let's just make these two segments here. Transform those into bridge mode. And then have this road going underneath the highway. How cool would that look? Oh crap, well, we don't have enough room, but maybe we can just cheat a little bit and then have them going back. There. What do you guys think about that? That looks pretty decent, I would say. Maybe just adjust a couple of things here. Maybe increase the height of the bridges a little bit. Just so we can actually fit some vehicles underneath. That would be nice. And there we go. That's not too bad. What do you guys think? Boom, just like that. And I guess we can officially say that we have moved on past the highway into the southernmost section of town. Or the westernmost. I kind of get my bearings all screwed up all the time. And over here, the grid pattern is going to change too. So this is going to be like a perfect north-south configuration. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to work any further in this zone. Maybe just develop this area here. But I don't want to get in the way of the train tracks that we have to lay down in the next episode. Actually, let's have it high density right here. try to have like little corner stores I don't know it just creates a couple of jobs maybe for some of the surrounding citizens help reduce traffic very subtly I guess but I don't know in every North American town you know your your local neighborhood grocery or your little corner store every little town has one Oh, what are people complaining of over here? Not enough educated workers. Yeah, we should probably work on that, eh? Um, let's just check our education panel. So we do have a bunch of elementary schools, but we don't nearly have enough high schools. Um, well, I mean, I suppose one more would do because they do cover quite a large area. Oh, actually, we only have one. The other one is like a, uh, what, what do you call that? Institute of Creative Arts, I believe it is. So let's maybe have another high school. Let's 
plop this guy right here. It should be able to reach almost everybody. Yeah, that actually has some pretty decent coverage. Um, and because we have a little bit extra income, actually, let's check our, yeah, so we're gonna need another elementary school as well in this corner over here. So let's place that guy down here, make everybody happy over in this corner. Um, university, we don't have a university. Oh well, yeah, okay, so yeah, we do have it unlocked. We just can't, we just can't afford it yet. Uh, no big deal. Maybe in the next episode, we'll take care of that. Um, community school, do we have one of those? What does that do? Small and safe community school allows children to get their education and grow into educated adults, alternative to an elementary school. Oh yeah, I think we read about that in the very first episode of Argamel, or if not, very close to it. And yes, we do have a public library. Holy crap, the range is tiny on that. Huh, interesting. But I don't think a public library really... It probably... It, it's probably more... Yeah, library gives a small bonus to education within radius. So, yeah, it's just kind of a bonus building. That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, so, anyway, we have some good coverage for pretty much everything. We'll just have to wait until maybe next episode, until we can afford the university, and then we'll go ahead with that. So, I think that is going to be all for now, guys, in this episode. I might just accelerate the simulation real quick here and get this area built up, and then we'll call it a day. Um, not sure what we're going to do in the next episode, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Um, so your homework, guys, is going to be deciding what to do with this rail line here. I'm thinking, is it either going to go west to whatever's going to be over here, or do we have it maybe going under the city and popping up on the other side over here, providing, um, you know, some uh, goods access to whatever's going to be here. I'm thinking like a big industrial port's going to be in the works for this section. And maybe we can eventually like connect it up to this loop? Uh, no, that wouldn't make very much sense. That would... I don't think I could connect it to this line, guys, because this is our passenger line. That would screw everything up. Anyways, not a big deal. So yeah, I'm going to call it quits right about now, guys. Um, this area is pretty much developed at this point. We'll let it grow over time. Uh, so yeah, with that being all said and done, guys, I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for many more videos just like these ones to come out. And also, check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support the channel even further. And yeah, that is it for me for today, guys. So until the next episode, please take care.